So for today, we're going to be looking at these seasonal challenges for week six. If you guys don't know, I usually do this at the beginning of the week so that way you guys can be updated on what you guys have to do for the week. And we also look at Eververse as well. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help. And let's just get into it. So the first one is Antiquarian 6, return the sixth relic to the helm, also defeat powerful cabal throughout the system, defeating more powerful combatants will award bonus progress. This one's not too hard. I think the only problem would be powerful cabal, unless you are going out of your way to do this one. Just be just be aware of that. Uh, next one is raise a glass, perform emotes at the end of catch crash or expedition for additional rewards. Doing so on master difficulty will award bonus progress. This interaction requires the purchase of the first swashbuckler upgrade. So essentially you need to have the obvious what it says, the first swashbuckler upgrade, which is essentially just giving you a crewmate. And after that, this one's not too hard. Hopefully uh, this one's super fast. We'll see. Catch crasher two and catch crash destroy shield generators in the maintenance bay, hack terminals in the treasure hoard, and destroy storage tanks in the ether storage. Doing so in master catch crash will award bonus progress. Uh, this one might take a while depending on the percentages, but M master catch crash would be the best alternative because obviously you'd be getting bonus progress. Hailstorm defeat targets with arc or stasis abilities, defeating combatants in expedition and defeating guardians will award bonus progress. So. This one you can complete in Crucible or in the Expeditions if you want. I don't know about Gambit. I mean, it doesn't. I don't know why it wouldn't, but there that is. Uh, next one is Seasonal Challenge, uh, Stun Champions. This one's that's really it. This one might be annoying, but if you do it within the season, th that might be better. Although I'm probably just gonna kill it in one afternoon. Uh, masterwork a piece of armor not hard at all. Just masterwork a piece of armor. Acquire the Crucible ornament for Cry Mutiny again. This one might be annoying for some people. I probably gonna get this. I usually get the crucible one. Like, at, like it's not that hard, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. As for Eververse, we have a breezy clear shader, which is I'm not gonna be real with you guys. I don't like the shader. Like I picked it up just because I wanted to have it, but I'm not a fan of it. We have X marks to spot projection. We have thinking hard emo. We have Junkyard Shell, which is a pretty cool shell, and the other pieces for this is also pretty cool, specifically the Sparrow on the ship. I actually do like them. And then for the bottom, we have Infinity Door Projection. We have Objective Reality for the Truth, the ornament. It looks pretty cool. I just don't know if it's cool enough for me to warrant buying it. Uh, we have the Fortnite boots for all the classes. So if you are waiting for it, make sure to pick it up this week. We have Energetic Explanation, which I actually might pick this up just because it's a really good uh, emote for a thumbnail and it's only 400 F like we'll, we'll pick it up because it does look like it's going to be a really good uh, thumbnail picture or a thumbnail emote. Urban Commander, which is a really cool uh, sh sparrow. Personally, I do actually like it. Sweep the area, which is just another emote. And then Splish Splash, which is not worth 3,000 Bright Dust, in my opinion. Next, we get to the shader. And honestly, this is probably one of the best shaders you can use if you want to combine your armor pieces into one color. I'll explain further after we're done looking at the shaders. But just be aware, this is going to be a shader you're going to want to pick up. We have Coastal Suede, which actually looks pretty good uh i was i was ready to talk mad shit about it but i do actually like the contrast of like the light color with the dark navy and the light blue i think this looks really cool i would definitely pick this up uh sunrise warrior i love this shader it's just unfortunate that i never really wear it because the pink is pretty hard sometimes and then 44 steel which is a really good brown color personally i like i actually do like it and let's actually get to what I was talking about. So, for example, there is one arm I can really speci specifically think about, which is this one right here, the Moonfang. Uh, if you ever try to combine it, like this is Argent Territory. This is the one that, that uh, Eververse is currently selling. Let's look at Echo Anger. As you guys can see, Echo Anger has two colors and both of them are not the same. So that's really unfortunate. Uh, Argent Territory is like, I don't care. I'm going to combine both of them. This is one of the shaders, actually one of the few shaders that actually combines armor pieces like this because the other one is 
from the last wish raid which is the dreaming spectrum Spe dreaming spectrum is another shader that combines pieces like this so just be aware that not a lot of shaders actually do this as you guys can see like a lot of the shaders just stick to one color so if you want to pick it up it's also a really good silver so i would recommend that uh that shader to get picked up because again it does a well a good job at combining shaders and titans i think you guys have a lot of those as well and warlocks i think you also have a few but yeah just be aware of that but let me know what you guys think in the comments below i will be making like i actually have quite a bit of content coming out this week specifically we're going to be looking at a few things i still haven't made the divinity video i do want to do it just because i do want to give my thoughts on it but i also will make the fortnite boots video i i'm already thinking about the potential pieces to make with that we also have a fully like a full auto video that i want to make like specifically guns do we need full auto to be actually intrinsic to the gun itself i think that's really important to talk about and some cloak changes as well so let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me again, links are in the description below. If you guys want to see me do anything content related, let me know. I'll definitely at least hear you out. So be safe and I'll see you guys later.